Well, hello, everybody. <clears throat> Another unscheduled day, but I'm trying to make up for Tuesday. Got Ultra Prism. I'm pumped for this one. This is probably one of the best sets from start to finish that have been uh, printed lately. A lot of good cards. Supporters seem to be pretty good. Cynthia's are tough to come by from the looks of it. Um, you got Duskling, Necrozma, Glaceon, which is a big hitter. Um, nothing's terrible. You got your golden ticket, uh, the full gold, uh, Lunala and Sogalia, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and then Prisms. Prisms make their first, uh, first entry into the game for us. I don't know if many of you are familiar with A-Spec, but it works uh, similarly. You can only have one of one name in there at a time, so I just gotta see how this is all done. Okay, so at least I know where the codes are. I'll do this until at least we get our first prism. Prism or ultra. So you got your Doug Trio, Ancient Crystal, Cherum, Ability. Your Grass Pokemon have no weakness, that's pretty good. Playing the Fire Deck. A Cherub, a Bunnery, Drampa Reverse, and Type Null. So nice. Reverse Hollow for our Drampa. That's uh, pretty sweet. Like I said, I'm pumped for this set. I want to build a uh, Necrozma deck, um, Duskmane, because I want to accelerate all those energies. I don't know if I like doing it. I haven't done the card trick like this in a long time. Psychic, Drift Bloom, uh, Gabbit, got a Looker Whistle, Murkrow, Magnemite, which is good. So you can get your Magna Zones, get that energy accelerated. A Drift Bloom, Reverse Electric Memory, and an uh, Empoleon, which I've heard is actually a pretty good card. Um, I also know that Garchomp, God, what deck is it? It's a really weird deck. I know it's Garchomp, Cynthia, and one other card, and like when you play the three together, it actually does fairly well. Um, especially that Garchomp, you can get an extra 100 if you play Cynthia. Lily, one of our new trainers, looking good. Magneton, Spiritomb, Magmar, and Alolan Diglett, Sneasel, Magnemite. Cherub, Alolan Volpex, Reverse, and a Drapion. I'll just spill stuff everywhere because stack maintenance is overrated. I'm just kidding, it is not. The amount of time it saves me later is crazy. So, what else can we do? Question is, can we get anything really good? I've seen these boxes. Basically, you're gonna get five uh, ultra rares, unit energy, a Rotom, Piplup, Scorpy, a Stunky, Young Goose, Magmar, Reverse Rotom, and Electrive. Um, yeah, you know you're five, maybe six. I guess there are outliers. I've seen high, I've seen low. And then basically like three prisms is what you're guaranteed, so more or less. I shouldn't say guaranteed, because you're not. I've seen ones with two, but they're kind of few and far between. An Orangaroo, very cool looking Orangaroo. Missing Clover, the one that has a sweet effect, but is almost impossible to get off. Possimian, Shinx, Carnivine, Cardinos, and Shebe. Call the family. That is a That is a very good... One energy attack, one energy uh, cost. Helps you definitely set up. It's a good setup card. At least this one's not an EX, so it doesn't cost you two prizes if it does get knocked out. Metal energy. Bronze on. Fire memory. Grotal. You patter, Piplup, Scorpy, a Stunky, Young Goose, a Glamiow, and it is a Hollow Rare, a Bastodon. I've messed this up. 
This is not how I was uh, hoping this would go, but that's okay. I'll get there. I'll figure it out. Probably won't, but whatever. Oh, my stacking is just I'm all off. I don't know what I'm doing. It's too hyped on that Yu-Gi-Oh. I really just want to get an Ultra Prism or something. Already like six packs in. We got a hollow rare. Come on now. Don't be another Crimson Invasion. Print plop. It's the Pokemon fan club. That is a sweet full art. I've seen them a million times. Alolan Sand Shrew, Alolan Vulpix, Bronzor, it's a Dewpider, Reverse Turtwig, and a Magearna. Regular rare. We don't even have, we only have one Reverse Hollow and one Regular Hollow. What is going on? Pokemon Guides. Hear my please. Give me something. Goodness. Can a guy even get just like a Prism? I don't, you don't need a white coat for a Prism anymore, so everybody loves that. Skunk Tank Cynthia. There's our first Cynthia. Very awesome. Cosmom, Magmar, Diglett, Magnemite, Chirby, Reverse Stunky, nice, Garchomp, Royal Blades. So if you. It came in that pack. If I were to play that Cynthia and then play Royal Blade, that does 200. And he's a uh, stage 2, which is pr pretty decent, 150 hit points. Um. And his first stage has something really... Uh, I shouldn't have. I should have read it because I did see it. I'll see if I can see it when I find it again. I'll read it. What, 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 what? What do we have? Something, maybe. Energies. Drift Bloom. This is it, right here. This is at stage two, Gabite. If it focuses in. Maybe not. Maybe it won't focus. It's not going to focus, you guys. There it is, Gabbit. Ascension. You can search your deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon Evolve It, then shuffle your deck. Just like that, that's the card you want. And all it takes is a fighting energy. That's a Looker Whistle, Chimchar. Alolan Sanchu, Alolan Vopix, Bronzor, Reverse Type, no, pretty cool. And a Heat Turn, all right. So that was good, we did get a Hollow Rare and a Reverse Hollow Rare, all in the same one. And we got our stage one for uh, Garchomp. Although we're like halfway through, you guys. <laughs> and we got zero ultra rares. So that category, we are uh, stinking it up. This box is zero hitter so far. If we end on a zero hitter, I might have to go back to the card shop. Mars, Electric Memory, Floatso, Turwig, Rosalia, Rosalia a Gibble. Electabuzz, Chimchar, Reverse Fire Memory, and a Mo Rotom. Everybody makes fun of the Rotom decks because it's very unrealistic to have the nine tools in there. I mean, I know how to get them. Battle Compressor it all away, but it doesn't seem like it's worth all the trouble. Maybe. I mean, it's a fun one because then you don't even have to play energies. It's got a fairy energy, speaking of. Perugly. Not a very pretty kitty. Unit energies. Rotom. It's a dew pattern. Pip up. Stunky. Young Goose. Got a Looker Whistle. And nice. Luxray. Very good card, actually. Intimidating Fang. And a Volt Bolt. This is uh, one of the better cards that I've seen come out of here. It's hollow rare, anyway. <sighs> All right. Maybe we'll get one this side. I don't know. Doesn't look like we're going to get a whole heck of a lot of anything, to be honest with you guys. There's a code in that that I couldn't get out, so I'll just leave it. <coughs> Energy card, of course. Honchcrow, Lupani, Turtonator, Krogunk, Turtwig, Rosalia, Gibble, Electabuzz. That's a Snover, and nice, so Valley. I would have preferred not, because it was just in the last set, but that's okay. I don't think there are any other versions of this Silvalli in here. I literally think it is a just a plain GX is the only uh, only form it comes in in this set. To be honest with you guys, which is fine because, like I said, it literally just had it in our last set. Well, we got our first GX and it only took ten minutes. So 
Now that I feel a little bit better, not much, because we still have, we still don't have any prisms or anything like that. We'll just kind of scan through. There it is. There's our first prism, and we did get a Cyrus, which is sweet. Lowland Sand Slash. Oops. Darkness Energy, Bronze on Fire Memory, and the Grotto. So I don't know if you guys have seen this. Apparently it was mistranslated. I know you've probably already heard that, but Cyrus, uh, you can't play this card if you don't have any water or steel Pokemon in play. Now, in the original version, it says they have to be your active. This is not. Your opponent uh, chooses two bench Pokemon and shuffles the other and shuffles the others and all cards attach them into their deck. So, very cool. Make your Pokemon pick or make your opponent pick. It's almost like, um, what do you say? I'd want to say it's like a version of uh, Parallel City, but you're not, it's not a, it's not a permanent effect, which is kind of a bummer, but I am happy we got Cyrus. That is probably one of the better ones that are in here. Gibble, Hippodon, and a Wash Rotom. Man, we'll be able to build that whole Rotom deck. Cynthia, we got two. Most people are seeing about two, maybe three in there, so if we could get any more. Yeah, maybe a Full Art Cynthia. Sorry, I'm about to lose a whole bunch of bulk there. I would be pumped for a Full Art Cynthia. It's like 80 bucks for no reason either. Well, it's the best playable trainer anyway. Lickitung! And a Meg Mortar. So we did get a Meg Mortar would be our hollow rare. It's pretty cool. Order pad. An unidentified fossil. They brought back the HP for our fossils. Kind of like a token almost if you play Yu-Gi-Oh guys. Wow, we have three packs left on the first side and we have managed to get one Prism card and one GX. We are not lighting the world on fire right now. I tell you that, guys. Jeez Louise. Well, at least we got a white code. That's a Frost Rotom! Boom! Rainbow Rare Dusk Mane Necrozma. Well, this box is totally worth it now, you guys. Totally worth it. Probably one of the most playable cards in the set. Especially when you play the Metal Energy, you accelerate, accelerate. Oh, this was the card I was most definitely hoping for. We do need the Prism Solgalia, because uh, that's going to play right into our deck. Nice. Wash Rotom is a reverse rare. Um, it's alright, no more Cynthia's in there. We're just checking. So let's go over this because this is a new card. Uh, Necrozma, excuse me, not Necrozma, but so is the same. Duskman Necrozma, so Sigalio, taking over obviously. You got Claw Slash for three colorless, 60. Meteor Tempest does 220. You need three metal, one colorless. You have to discard three energy. But again, the thing with this is, is you get the uh, Sogalio Prism and the Magnazone and you will just accelerate it right back into the game and there's so many ways to get energies back and then you got Sun's Eclipse which is 250 uh, and you can only use this attack if you have more prize cards so if you're playing from behind which is great so 250 you're knocking out everything you're knocking out Charizard it, I mean there's almost nothing that you can't get around nice that is what we needed out of this box you guys Oof. it was looking rough Gotta love that. Rainbow Rare. Saland it. Uh, Saland it. Oh, this is coming. Okay. Yeah. Mars. Electric. Like I said, we'll keep our eyes out for those Cynthia's as well. I'm losing it. I'm dropping things. This was not. I did not put this together well, you guys. I apologize. Give me one second. One second. I'm just, I got it. Oh, oh, oh. These cards are slick. Very, very slick. I'm, I'm failing. I'm struggling with bulk. I hate bulk. I hate bulk. I hate sorting bulk. I hate it. It's so annoying. But it is a necessary evil that we live with. Because you can trade it in. Get some cash. Cash for more booster, booster boxes. Which we always need. There it is. All right, this is the last pack on the right side, you guys. So after this, we're on to our last uh, last 18. What do we get? Gibble. That's a reverse turret. And a Mo Rotom. Fighting Energy. Got a Looker. 
uh, draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. So I thought of this, and I don't know why I thought of this, but yesterday, if you guys watched our Yu-Gi-Oh! video, um, we pulled Skull Dread. And one of its effect is you pick four cards and then put three cards at the bottom of your deck any way you want them. I was like, so if I could combine these games and then I could play Looker, I would have the best combo wombo ever. Not only am I adding four cards, and then I would play my supporter card, and boop, I got those three back. Just a dumb thought. I see black border, so this should be a prism for us. Moral, come on, Sogalia. Yes, Sogalia prism. So, what I was talking about, you can only have one of him in deck, so you don't think you can run a bunch, but uh, one metal energy cost. For each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a metal energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So there it is, you guys. Use it. You use um, Meteor Tempest, discard three, put him out in the active next spot, one metal energy, refresh all of those right back on there because you know you're, ooh. And we got a Hollow Rare Lucario, very nice. This box has is starting to treat us very well. So I'm getting pumped now. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty awesome. Like I said, these two, go hand in hand. The synergy between them is crazy good. And it is a basic, it's not, you don't need to evolve. Uh, they're both basic, which is pretty cool. Loving it. This set, like I said, you guys, so much better than Crimson Invasion. God, I mean, minus Charizard, it's probably one of the best sets out there. Passimian, Sneasel, Eevee, Gibble, and a Toxicroak. Regular rare. Fairy Honchkrow, and Turnator. Oh, I lost it, you guys. I put cards where they're not supposed to go. Oh, stack maintenance. Oh my god, 20 minutes. Okay, let's wrap it up. Let's, let's, let's power through. I'll take care of stack maintenance later. Gibble, Lupiny. Alright, that's just a uncommon. Got a Bomb of Snow. Magneton, a Rangaroo, and a Drifloom. So far, so good, though. We do only have two hits, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully, get another, uh, hopefully, get three out of here, this side at least. Bunby, got a Magneton Reverse, Shenotic, or Dio, Unidentified. I will. Chimchar, Magnemite, Frost Rotom, okay. So he's just a rare. Doug Trio, a skateboard. We're almost there though, guys. Like I said, I know you guys have probably seen these. I just wanted to slow roll it while we while we looked for our very first ultra. There it is, Magnazone. So the ability of uh, magnetic circuit, as often as you like during your turn before you attack, you may attach a metal energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. And remember, this that's not counted as your regular attachment. So that's awesome. Tortura, Energy, Luxio, Looker. So, very good. We're getting them all. Now, we need more, but we're still getting them. One, uh, one Dusk main is not what you want. You're probably gonna play two, maybe three. But I guess we'll see. A little code action. Got a Gumshoes and another Type Null. We got quite a few Type Nulls, which is good. Uh, I guess that would help us play our uh, So Valley that we got. About halfway through, you guys. Keep going. Still only two Ultra Rares, which is kind of blowing me away. I figured we have at least three by now. Hippopotamus and Hypnodon. Okay. I can dig it. I can dig it. A little Evolution Line. Palpad Gumshoe. I'm just, I really don't want a dud box. I, I, it's not a dud, okay? We got we got the Rainbow Rare um, Dusk Mane, so not a dud, but still. A little Sand Slash, there it is. Oh, Feromosa. I have seen this one. I know it is not that great, but it is a full art, which is nice for us. Although I think that kills our, our dream of pulling that full art Cynthia, at least in this box. Honestly, I've never seen this card before. Did not pick it up in the uh, boxes that it came in. But you got uh, Fast Raid. If you go, okay, 
if you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. So, I mean, I guess it's not bad. It's 30. You can knock out maybe a basic, especially with the choice band. Uh, Cruel Spike, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. That does 60 for 2. And then Beauty GX, this attack does 50 damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if your opponent is kicking your bottom, well, that's the way to get back at uh, pretty much you want to use it until you're down, you know, until they're down to like two, maybe three prizes. Electabuzz. Spiritomb. Tapu! Lily. Everybody's calling for the Psychic one, which I, we don't get. God, they were just talking about we don't get that till late this year, so. But, it's always cool to see Tapu. Tapu Lily. Maybe not Wonder Tag, but it's still a pretty cool card. Oh, Rosalia. Got something? Yamna and... Nice. Two Dusk Maiden Necrozmas out of the one. Um, we're getting there. Oh, and of course, what else? Put a Metal Energy. We are definitely getting there, you guys. Only, like, I think one away and I might build it. We're one away. Oh, I don't really want to play with the rainbow, but that's okay. Dusk Maiden Necrozma of the regular variety. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. So out of the last seven, what we really are hoping for, one more ultra rare and one more prism would be sweet. Missing Clover and Araquanid. Uh, you guys didn't see it, but that is actually my third Missing Clover. So I'm only one away from being able to take a free prize card. Not that I could play four and actually get them to their hand, but that's okay. Stunky. Chirp rig order pad. Nice Magnezone Hollow. Got two Magnezones. Plenty of Magnemites. I don't know if I have the ones I want to play, but that's okay. Pokemon Fan Club and then Fire Memory. Doing really good, you guys. Like, this one box is basically building me the deck that I want. A few more Cynthia's. We'll be pumped. There it is. There's our last prism. Nice. Super boost energy. I got all of the ones that I wanted. So this card does provide a colorless energy. Uh, when this card is attached to a stage 2 Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only provides one energy at a time. If you have three or more stage 2 in play, it provides every type of energy, but provides four energy at a time. So, Decidueye decks uh, would be huge. Shebe was our rare. Fairy. Yeah, that's kind of really all I can think of off the top of my head. Stage 2. Charizard, I mean, but I've never seen anybody play a competitive Charizard deck. I'd try it. There it is. God, this is a good box, you guys. Three prisms, okay. So honestly, I would imagine that we are going to find maybe one more regular GX. If not, it's okay. We got our Rainbow Rare, Duskman, and Necrozma, which is what I really, really wanted out of this box. Uh, that or a gold card, but we did get our number one, and we actually got two of them, which is pretty legit. Piplup, and a Lolan Executor, the dragon, the sneaky, sneaky dragon. Three to go. What, oh, what can we find, guys? Eevee, Lolan Vulpix, Fan Rotom. Fan Rotom, nice, reverse hollow and a regular rare. Wow, we really only might get uh, four. Four Ultra Rare hits, which is kind of crazy to think of box, but it's, we got one of the best ones. I am grateful, don't get me wrong. I am pretty pumped of what we got here, so. Magnemite, Bronzor, Gibble. One more, there it is. Got Dongwing Necrozma Invasion. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is uh, is on your bench, you may switch it with your active. Dark Flash, this attack, uh, this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. You got 120. And then Moons Eclipse does 180. Of course, you have to use it only if you are behind in prizes. Got a Water, Trainer, Electric Memory. So there we go. We got our five hits. That's what you expect out of these, at least from everything I've seen. Some do give you six. I've seen them. But some could have given me, that one could have given me four. We did better than I thought. Last pack. 
probably nothing, but you never know. It's always fun, right? Just to see. Just to see if they messed up for me. Cosmo! Ah, dirty fan. Cynthia? Nope, no Cynthia's. So we only got two, which two to three is what I've seen. Alright, little quick little recap for our very first box of Ultra Prism, which I was super pumped with. Super Boost Energy Prism, so Galio Prism, Cyrus Prism. So these are the three best ones in my opinion. You got Dongwing Necrozma, Duskmane Necrozma, Full Art Feromosa. There's the Crown Jewel. Rainbow Rare Duskmane Necrozma. And a Savali GX. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back for another video this week. I am way off schedule. Uh, probably Sunday, but it might not be Pokemon. It might have to do Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. So, we shall see. You guys are the best. Thanks for checking this one out. And we'll catch you later.